that looks insane with the bridge. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna do this in one take today. No cutting, no editing, no nothing. One take, video upload, done. Today we're gonna be reacting to top 10 most beautiful states in America. This was literally just commented like an hour ago. Um, wasn't really sure what to watch. I've had so many comments suggesting so many different things. So I've decided to, to go with a top 10. Um, not watched this video before, so here we go. Let's see. Let's just move this up. And let's increase this. Let's watch. Before I say anything else, I have to say it isn't nice to judge. Every state is both beautiful and ugly in its own way. Take California, for example. On the one hand, you have Yosemite and Big Sur, but on the other hand, well, you have Skid Row and Stockton. To be completely honest with you, this was one of the hardest lists I've ever made because I really love the nature in so many states. But the West I've really seen some is of these things that is mentioned in here. And unique scenery. Now, don't is get one me of the wrong, first things I reacted to. I grew to up in the, the Northeast, actually. and while there is a lot of charm to the small towns and wooded habitats there, it just doesn't compare to the majestic vistas and untouched wilderness found in the West. But don't worry, there are some Eastern states on the list too. It does have a special place in my heart after all anyways i ranked the states by their Yosemite. natural landmarks national and state parks eco diversity and accessibility to nature forget about good jobs or city amenities i mean who cares about money that, when you're uh, surrounded by this in the probably goes without saying know, but this I'll, video uh, isn't for trees. the material girls so Although here's to you fellow that, nature no lovers and if you aren't a nature lover well keep watching to see why you should be because these are the top 10 most beautiful beautiful states in America. <laughs> Number 10, Maine. I know you're probably thinking, what? That doesn't look like Maine. Okay. Well, that's cause it isn't. It honestly was really hard to choose which state to put at number 10, so I'm starting to list off really with an honorable me. mention. South Dakota. Wait, what? South Dakota? Yeah, it might come as a surprise if you've never been here, but that's because it's incredibly underrated. I was blown away on my first visit, what? and not just cause the wind cave. From natural grasslands to the badlands to Sparefish Canyon and Custer State park to the black hills which are a heck of a lot more than just it's four just dead guy spaces on a day. rock the diversity of nature in the mount <laughs> so rushmore awesome state is mind-boggling i seriously have no clue why it's one of the least visited states in the country but I enough seen, with my south dakota i haven't seen that image of the four faces in such a long time i think the last time i ever seen those four faces in the rock face was on a simpsons episode when i was like 10 years old or something obsession actual number 10 is maine you might not have given the pine tree state much thought if you live outside of new england but as a new englander myself my family would take trips up here almost every summer and let me tell ya it is beautiful outside the portland metro area no not the one in oregon the state is pretty much just untouched gorgeous nature and really cute charming small towns which means there are endless opportunities for adventure whether you want to hike ski swim kayak, hunt, or fish. And if you're lucky, or maybe unlucky if you get too close, you might even see a moose. Maine's honestly one of the best kept secrets on the East Coast. Moose. From jutting cliffs to Something stunning beaches, if you include all the islands, to to Maine so actually has more my- Or an elk. I wasn't sure. Actually, I'm one of them. Someone called me out for calling it an elk a moose once of coastline than even california yeah, and speaking of islands have you seen mount desert island it's home to acadia national park which is pretty much the crown jewel of maine there really is no other place in america quite like it <laughs> number nine Michigan. Now this might be surprising too, but Michigan's actually another state with more coastline than california Michigan has like one no what is it one of the biggest lakes in America? I know Lake Superior is the biggest lake crossing over the Canadian border, but or is, does Lake Michigan have the most lakes? I can't remember which way around it is. 
someone will someone will let me know in the comments and yeah granted it's just surrounded by really big lakes but they're so big that it almost feels like the ocean you may have heard of the famously old-fashioned Mackinac Island where cars are forbidden and horses and buggies <laughs> transport you back sick. in time around the Victorian town but have you heard There's of Isle Royale National Park the 400 island archipelago is actually the least visited national park in the contiguous United States mainly because the only way to get there is a three hour long ferry but if you make the trip or honestly just go anywhere in the upper peninsula the wildlife and scenery you encounter will yeah, literally feel like a there. movie Red, and let's yellow, not forget green. the multicolored pictured rocks national lakeshore the isolated hilly beaches at sleeping bear dunes <laughs> and headlands international <laughs> dark sky hill. park what? which is one of the best places oh, to awesome. see the stars and if you're lucky the northern lights i could go on and on about the beauty of michigan i mean there are freaking wow. ice caves and a rock jutting out of the water that looks like a turnip number eight Nothing's. oregon when you think of oregon you probably just think of hipsters in portland or maybe state. something like this or this but the beaver state has pretty much every type of biome imaginable you probably didn't know this was in oregon or this the ecosystems nope. here are seriously Definitely so didn't. dang diverse that each region feels like its own country from beautiful beaches bordered by sinkholes sand dunes and giant rock islands to lush national sinkholes. forests teeming with literally thousands of streams and waterfalls to charming artsy towns like ashland bend and hood river the entire state just feels enchanted the cascade range also runs through the middle of oregon and is home to some of the most beautiful mountains in the country and crater lake national park crater which lake. is literally a giant blue lake at the top of a volcanic place. crater it's honestly one of the most unique and gorgeous settings i've ever seen and i haven't even mentioned the eastern is there was a video on my channel of me reacting to crater lake um what, what a place. It's unbelievably blue in there half of the state with places like the painted hills and Owyhee canyon lands that you'll swear must be photoshopped oh and there's also hell's canyon aka the deepest gorge in north america with a nearly 8,000 foot vertical hell's drop canyon. into the snake river needless to say there's a lot more to or there's a place called uh i know this is slightly off topic but there's a place called devil's pulpit in uh in the uk in well well yeah it's the uk it's in um it's in Scotland, just up, up in a place called Glasgow, um, which that, that name just sort of reminded me of that uh, Devil's Pulpit, if you want to give it a Google. Really cool place. Oregon than just Portland. <laughs> Number seven. Colorado. Denver might be overrated, but there's a reason why so many people are moving to or at least vacationing in the Centennial Colorado. State. Take a drive on I-70 and you'll see why. Every curve of the interstate reveals a breathtaking view of the Rockies before following the Eagle and Colorado Rivers through the canyons into Those a landscape that looks awesome. like Mars. And this is honestly the least scenic route. The mountains are just That's gorgeous <laughs> all around okay. with 58 peaks exceeding 14,000 feet. By far the most of any state in fact there are only four states in the country that even have one 14,000 footer but while the front range is magical colorado is so much more than just a beautiful mountainous region full of world-class ski resorts and hikes head to the southwest near durango and you'll find some of the most well-preserved native american pueblos at mesa verde national park or you can head to colorado oh, springs to find some of the most beautiful state. red rock formations at garden of the gods and colorado's also home to the tallest sandy. sand dunes in north america America. This state is honestly so diverse that even if you spent your entire life here, it still wouldn't be long enough to explore all the unique environments the area has to offer. <laughs> Number six. Washington. Seattle and rain are probably the first two words that come to mind when you think of Washington. But this state is so much more. Don't get me wrong, on the days where is it right? isn't is it misty always, and rainy and you- It's always pretty bad weather in Washington. I don't really know what the weather's like. I, I kind of understand that. The West Coast is maybe better weather. I don't, genuinely don't know. You can actually see Seattle's one of the most picturesque cities in the world. But the constant rain kinda is what makes the Evergreen State stay, well, evergreen. Speaking of evergreen, North Cascades National Park might be one of the most beautiful places on Earth. I mean, have you seen Mount Shuxin? Well, probably not because it's also one of the least visited national parks, which is weird since it's only a two hour drive from Seattle. But even closer to Seattle are the majestic Olympic Mountains, and even closer 
Spur is Mount Rainier, which is the most prominent peak in the continental United States and also an active volcano. But hey, I'm not here to judge Seattle White's life decision. It really was like hard to choose which Pacific Northwest state America to put higher on this list. But while Oregon is very geographically diverse, Washington is even more diverse. The Evergreen State is home to 63 different mountain ranges, the largest expanse of temperate rainforest Whoa. in the U.S., tons of waterfalls, rivers, lakes, and ecologically unique islands, the Columbia River Gorge and the Scablands, the Palouse Hills, and charming mountain towns like Leavenworth. You know, maybe it is worth living under an active volcano like to be near all that. Number five. Utah. From the Rocky Mountains to Desert Canyons, it isn't hard to see why Utah has the third most national parks in the country. You've probably heard of Zion and Arches. And no, that's not the moon. That's just yeah, Canyonlands National Park. To, uh, There's also uh, Bryce Zion Canyon and, uh, and Capitol Reef National, national Park and a boatload of national monuments and forests, which are equally as impressive. As you can see, Utah shares a lot of similarities with Colorado and Arizona, but also has a lot of uniquely Utah things Where's too. That? And I'm not talking so, about Bryce. Size. Besides the national parks, there are 43 state parks, and no, I'm not about to list them all, but just Those look at how pretty noble, they yeah. are. The coolest thing about Utah, in my opinion, though, is that most of the nature is completely untouched, and aside from the super popular national parks and ski resorts like Zion and Park City, it's almost never overcrowded with tourists. If it had a coastline, Utah would probably be number one on this list. Every American state has, like, unbelievable national parks i haven't even scratched the surface with the ones that i've looked at on my channel so far but just going through these states here is is putting a lot of em emphasis on the uh, national park side of things which is great but it, it's unbelievable how many um how many of them just look absolutely epic but it doesn't and before you say hey what about the great salt lake nobody actually likes how the great salt lake looks or smells for that matter number four like? California. I know a lot there of you are go. probably wondering Cali. why isn't California number one? I mean, I it is the most Florida. geographically diverse state in the country by far, housing nearly every type of climate zone in the world. But the one thing keeping it up. I watch a guy on YouTube, um, uh, the guy that does, he's, he's like living in an abandoned ghost town. I'm sure that's in California. He's, he's got a really cool channel out of even the top three on my list is just all the overcrowding and pollution. Even though most of the national parks are four to five hours out of the cities, there are still so many people. Sure, there are a few secret spots where you can find some peace and quiet, but if you aren't a local and don't know what oh, you're doing, awesome. you're never going to find them. What you will find is 3,400 miles of pristine coastline and some of the best beaches in the world. To the south, you have La Jolla and Laguna, but more north, there's also Carmel, yeah, what what is the most popular beach in California? I feel like there's is that that I don't know, like Muscle Beach or something, if that's what it's called. Moonstone Beach, Bowling Ball Beach, and the incredible Big Sur. Oh, but actually, don't go unreal. Is that what is that Big Sur? Is that what he called it? That looks insane with the bridge crossing it. Wow, brilliant color of the sea as well go there because the locals do everything they can to hide the best spots from tourists so why don't you head on over to one of the nine national parks or over 300 state parks instead both numbers being the most of any state try What's yosemite that? the redwoods or even death valley seriously i cannot state this enough almost every type of scenery imaginable is here the problem is that people litter and their pollution is destroying the environment and not nearly enough funds are being allocated to protect it but what can I say? It's not like money grows on trees. And even if it did, California would have probably burned through it by now. Pun intended. Number three. Hawaii. Hawaii is by far the smallest state on this list, so I guess it goes to yep. show that size doesn't matter. Because what the Aloha State lacks in size, it makes up. Hawaii is unbelievable. I'm subscribed to a channel called Miles Deep, and his, his channel is pretty much just flying a drone anywhere and everywhere you can in Hawaii and some of the things that he shows you is unbelievable. Hawaii is just absolutely paradise.
except for in sheer beauty. There really isn't a single part of the islands that isn't jaw-droppingly gorgeous. Each of the seven inhabited islands is entirely different in its own way, but some notable views are the Nepali coast and Waimea Canyon on Kauai, the Bamboo Forest, Honokohau Falls, and the Road to Hana on Maui, the Sea Cliffs of Molokai, Lanakai Beach and the Cocoa Head Crater on Oahu, and Mauna Kea and Volcanic National Park on Big Island. In fact, the Big Island alone has 11 of the world's 13 climate zones. From the history what? to the culture to the waterfalls. The, the, the Big Island or whatever you just said has 11... 11 what? volcanoes, hiking, park on Big Island. In fact, the Big Island alone has 11 of the world's 13 climate zones. From the history to the culture to the waterfalls, volcanoes, hiking, and world-class snorkeling and surfing, Hawaii is one of the most horrific. unique and diverse states in the country. Not to mention the nearly perfect weather with tropical temperatures and 270 sunny days a year. Number two, <laughs> Don't Montana. Get that in contrast to the last... It was, uh, it was literally, it was t-shirt weather. We call it t-shirt weather when we get a sunny day in, in the UK. Um, yesterday, and then it started hailstorming today. So, yeah, one day and we're done. Last two states, Montana has exactly zero miles of coastline. So how the heck did it make it so high on this list? If you're seriously asking that question, you need to visit the Big Sky State, where, yes, the sky really does seem bigger. We all know Colorado is the Rocky Mountain state, but honestly, the Rockies in Montana remain unparalleled. The mountains loom majestically Col over vast and colorful are, valleys dotted by the lakes, the rivers, and wildlife that run through them. A trip to Yellowstone will leave you be bewildered by the power of nature, but the lesser-known Glacier National Park is actually, in my opinion, the most beautiful national park in America. And in the eastern half of the state, you have a complete contrast with places like Makoshika State Park with its badlands and dinosaurs. Makoshika? Sounds like an interesting word to say. Or fossils. There are actually 55 state parks in the state, including the Lewis and Clark Caverns, Slathead Lake, Palisade and Kootenai Falls, and Bighorn Canyon. But honestly, the entire state could be a national park. Drive through just about anywhere here, and you'll have a hard time finding a view that doesn't look like a painting, even in the urban areas like Missoula or Bozeman. And on a clear night, you might even see the northern lights. Now, before we get to number one, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think the most beautiful state is. But without further ado, I will, dude. Number one, will like Alaska. Subscribe. Speaking of the Northern Lights, could number one really be anything but? Alaska is more grand, vast, and untamed. Alaska's number one. I, that I wouldn't have. I mean, I guess, let's see. ...than any other state. And it's not even close. It even has more coastline than every other state combined. And that coast varies widely from the volcanic Aleutian Islands to glacier-lined black sand beaches to craggy cliffs to forested black fjords. Black sand beaches, that's something I'd really love to experience in real life. Uh, I think there is what, maybe one in the UK. I'm not sure. Sure, it does get really cold in some parts, but there is a heck of a lot more to Alaska than just snow-capped mountains. The last frontier is home to eight national parks, each featuring incredibly different landscapes, ranging from Denali, home of the tallest mountain in North America, to Kenai Fjords, Gates of the Arctic, Glacier Bay, and Wrangell St. Elias, which is actually the largest national park in the nation. And while there are also 156 state parks to boot, Alaska is still the least visited state in the U.S. Which might be due to the fact that there aren't many roads leading to the parks. You'll actually have to try- Ironic, isn't it? The one that he puts as most beautiful in his top 10 is the least visited. Does that mean to say that the more humans that visit a place, the less beautiful it becomes because we ruin it? Charter a plane to get to most of them. But that's also why the population density is just one person per square mile. So there are literally thousands of miles of untouched unique wilderness, and you're probably more likely to run into a bear, moose, or musk ox than another person in the nature here. Where else can you find over half the world's oh, glaciers, fjords all along the coast, rainforests, volcanoes, the 10 tallest mountains in the country, and even sand dunes? Alaska is by far the most beautiful state state in america yeah okay so that was um 
reacting to the 10 most beautiful states in America. Uh, I don't know whether I would agree with Alaska, in at, at least in my own personal list, from not being not visiting any personally. Um, but at least from what you showed there, I really like Michigan, to be honest. Um, that, that might be because it's one I've seen the most of, but yeah, Michigan looks absolutely awesome. Um, let me know what, uh, which your favourite state is. A lot of my viewers are actually from America anyway, so um, wherever you're from, I'm sure your, your opinion won't be biased at all. But uh, yeah, let me know where you're actually from, what state you're, you live in, and which is your um, which, which state you consider the most beautiful. Um, and uh, I'll have a look and uh, reply to all your comments. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.